Hello, love friends. This week I got two things that I'd like to show you. Let's go. First, there is a new sorting filter for your routes. In Lava, you can get a list of all the routes that you have defined through an artisan comment called PHP Artisan Route List. And you can see we get here a big colored list with all the routes which are defined from my app. You can see I just have a few of them, but a lot of them come from other packages as well. So let's clear this a little bit up by just using the accept window filter and now we can only see which I've defined here in and in my API file and there are a few of them and what you can see they are listed here differently from how I have defined here so here's the publish first and then my list and here is the list first and then the publish because by default this is sorted by the URI which is yeah sometimes a good idea but you also have different ways to to sort them so let's take a look we take a look at help and then check out here um, for the sort filter. You can also see the default is URI. We can also change this to domain, name, URI, name, the action, middleware. So a lot of things and also new by definition. So let's take a look what this does. So um, we're going to sort now by definition. All right, let's take a look. And now this is different because now we have published first, like we have here, and then we have list. So now you get the list in the order that you have defined this, which can be very helpful for your application, but also for third party routes, which are also defined. And now you get a good overview of how and when they are defined, which sometimes is crucial to how they work. Thank you, Mathieu. And then I'd like to show you a new feature from the boss himself, which he added while he was on the airplane. So this feature that Taylor worked on on the airplane was something that should help you when you work with URLs like this one. And it's a new URI helper, there's this new facade, and now we can create a new URI object by providing a URL like this. And we get back now this new object which has a ton of features for you. So what can this do for you? First you can get a bunch of stuff from the current URL. So let's check out the scheme. You can get like this. What about the host? Let's get the host. What about the query, which we also have for this shop URL? Here you get an object back. So we can get all of them by just using the all method. We have search and category here for this shop, but you can also do something like has and check if a specific one is given. So, for example, does it have a search? Yes, we have. Does it have search too? No, it does not. So there are a ton of things that you can do here. Also pretty cool if you have a different URL, let's say we have here like docs and then installation and then we have, let's say for the Mac, which is now a link, an anchor link inside this page. So we can also get this one here by calling fragment it's called. Let's check this and here we have the fragment of this URL again, which is super cool because there are so many things that you can do with this and it's so much easier to get all these parts from this URI. But you can also change this, let's say, with, with another fragment. Let's use Windows here and let's use value to get back the end result and you can see now we have Windows as our fragment. So we have a bunch of with methods here, with host, we can change the host to... Um, shop level, I don't know, something like this. And again, we need to use the value method here in order to see the result, yeah. So we can change the host, we can change the path, we can change like anything here from this URL with this new URI helper. So yeah, I think it's a good idea for you to check out all the different methods because there is so much that we can do here. Um, yeah, just take a look what all is in here, so many methods. So. This is very powerful. Another thing that I really liked, which I found out, you have this route method as well. So let's create a new URI object by providing a route. And I have one which is called podcast.show, I believe. And let's call the value. Let's take a look. Um, it's not working because we need to provide a podcast here as the second argument because we have binded this to the route. 
So let's just get the first podcast here and let's see what we get. Yes, we get the URL for this route here with for the specific podcast, which has a very specific unique UID as an ID for this podcast. So you can do this as well. Um, create a new UI object from a specific route, can pass the parameters that you need for this URL to be built. And then again, you have all the methods on this URL helper to work with this URL. And one more thing that I'd like to show you inside a controller where you have access to the request. Let's bring this in here. It's this one here. Through auto resolving, we can also get the URI of the current URL by using the request and call the new URI method, which will give you a new object of the URL that you can then change or get the things that you need from this URL, which is also very helpful. This is something that I yeah, would have needed already many times. So yeah, that's the new UI helper. And again, it's a good idea to check it out for yourself because there's so much it can do. Thank you, Taylor Otwell. That's it for this week. Have fun with the new additions and see you the next time as always. Bye.